<sighs> Welcome back you guys to a brand new video. I know it's been a long time. I know I haven't uploaded, but today is the rebirth of my channel. Um, so welcome. Uh, this is my first unboxing. I have a brand new camera, brand new microphone, fully new setup. That's kind of the reason why I didn't upload or make any videos. I was tired of making videos with my phone. And so now I have an actual camera, as you can see, much cleaner, crisper me on your screen. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into this. I have an unboxing today of Zalon. Zalon is a service of Zalando, uh, which is a giant online um, fashion platform. They actually have um, a website and you have to go there and you have to fill in a form and um, pick a girl or guy that is going to put together your box. They're actually stylists. And so if you have no idea what you're doing with style or you just want to get started, it's absolutely fantastic. It takes, I think, 15 bucks to do it. So the stylist gets paid. Um, but you're giving your weight, your height, uh, your measurements, whatever. Even they ask like, hey, do you want to receive jackets and shoes? You can say no, you can say yes. You can say what um, region of pricing you want, anything. It's by the way, not sponsored, not at all. Um, but just me explaining what it is. And today I'm gonna unbox what um, this girl sent to me. It's been here for more than two weeks now, so I really have to open it. Um, if I don't wanna keep any pieces, I can still send them back. So let's do this. I brought a knife, but I don't think I'm gonna actually need it. I, there's a tab right here. Nice, nice tabs. Okay, let me try it from over here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my knife back. Back with the knife. Let me uh, put it over there. Okay, now let's try not to cut ourselves. This is really not working out. Wow, I thought this was a sharp knife. Boy, was I wrong. It is open. The knife can be put away. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put it down. God. By the way, lucky you cannot see backstage. This is the most ghetto setup I've ever seen. Um, let me actually see how this works. They say you just have to lift it. I don't, it doesn't work for me, I guess. Or it does, I'm just stupid. Okay, here we go. I brought my glasses, luckily. By the way, in my description I said, uh, hey, this is for a YouTube video. You have a uh, carte blanche. You can do whatever you want. Price range, doesn't matter. Do whatever you like. This is, I don't know, some papers. And this is, oh, this is what everything is and what it costs. Let me see, there's some, um, okay. They didn't go the route I thought they would. Uh, because they ask, actually ask like what um, brands you normally wear and I put in Rolf Lauren which is the brand I usually wear which I'm not wearing right now but whatever and um, I thought they would put at least something in here but they don't uh, these are two outfits I think they come in these like packages I guess so it has like a nice bow it's cool unboxing okay so first piece is a let me get this closer. It's a Calvin Klein, um, what is this? A shirt, slim fit. It has like this blue and white, really small. It's not even checkers, it's like a little pattern. Okay, what else do we have? What are you, my friend? I think this is a polo shirt, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me show you. I'll open these in, in a little bit, so. Uh, This is pants, I think. I think these are dress pants, but I'm not entirely sure. This is the first package. Okay, let me put it on the ground here. Second one. Nice little bow tie. Okay, this is a Tommy Hilfiger. Um, again, 
dress shirt. I don't like that there's a pocket right here. I do not like them. So this is already like not a good start for this one. Again, a dress pants, light gray with like a little bit of grain in there. I kind of like it. I fuck with it. Oh my God. It's probably the worst thing she could have put in here. I have no idea why she put in here. This has nothing to do with the rest. This is a um, Levi's or Levi's or whatever you want to call it. Um, jeans jacket. This is, this has nothing to do. This has absolutely nothing to do with um, what's in here. And there is a blazer. A, I think this is just a gray blazer. There we go. But there's more. Take, oh, and there are shoes. There we go. Okay, let's uh, some these like these. Let's go. If I can actually open them, that'd be, that'd be great. Oh God. Okay. 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 So these are some black suede. Um, Chelsea boots. I really like the look of them. I hope they fit. I'm actually looking for some gray Chelsea boots um, because I think they would look absolutely fantastic. Um, but let me close this up. There we go. We don't need you anymore. So I'm going to put you down here. Okay, everything is unpacked. Let's um, try everything on. So I'm going to try them on like they were in the packages. I'm going to show you how I think not good the um, Levi jean shirt is going to look, but who knows? I'm not a fashionista. As you can see, this is my fit today. I actually haven't talked about the outfit of the day. So I have my uh, dad jeans or mom je dad jeans, I think they are, uh, from Zara. As always, I have a basic white tee from H&M and I have this flannel um, as you can see like this little pattern and I saw this on, on Pinterest the other day like where you tuck it in but you don't tuck it in fully so it's a bit like wooshy washy I don't know, it's a bit fluffy I absolutely love the fit and I just um, rolled up the sleeves absolutely love the fit of this it feels great, it feels like you're kind of a little bit dressy but you're more risky with your dress you could have just let it out, but I really like how this looks. I think I'm gonna start wearing it completely all the time like this. Um, but that's it, let's uh, try out the outfits. Okay, so let me talk about this fit. Uh, first of all, I have an All Saints pants. They're charcoal, but they are, they're okay here, I guess. There's a little bit of space, but I don't mind. They're, they're nice, but they don't fall off. But around my calves, Holy guacamole, it is tight. Tight to the point where it's uncomfortable, so I am really wanting to jump out of these. Uh, so they are gone. It's a, it's a size 28, which is normal for like around here, but holy guacamole, my legs are too thick, boy. Um, these um, shoes are actually pom pom pom. Selected on... Chelsea boots size 42, which is really nice. Um, they are only like 54 bucks. So I think I might actually, <laughs> don't look at my socks. They're not matching. I think I might actually keep them. I really like them. I really like how clean they look, how pristine they look. So these might be my new winter boots that I bought. Um, the um, polo shirt, truly, I don't know why people would buy it. I guess it's 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 cheap, it's okay, but like look, there's already like a little bit of um, thread coming loose. They're really stretchy, but they don't give any warmth. Um, I, I'm not gonna buy them. I already have kind of the same of Ralph Lauren and I really like their polo shirts, so I wouldn't change it up all that much, but it's okay. The fit is okay. The pants are way too tight, holy guacamole. Uh, but aside from that, it's a pretty good fit. It's fully black. I really like these charcoal pants, but I, I'm really scared that 
the moment I go bigger, this is gonna go way too big, but then my legs are gonna work, so. Sad, but true. The search continues for charcoal dress uh, pants. By the way, these pants were about 100 bucks. So they're quite expensive, but I do feel like they're worth it. They're really, they're really soothing, really clean. They, they fall amazing. They have like, the so as you can see, they have these beautiful like lines and they fall absolutely fantastic. So I love how they connect the long way around here with like a sliding mechanism, which is absolutely amazing. They feel great. They feel nice and warm. They're really, um, really a suit style of pants but the calves are absolutely killing me on to the next fit okay so next fit uh, I like you see on the video there was no way I was getting in these gray pants so they are out of the picture I put on some dress pants I brought myself as you can see, they're dark blue, they have like this little stripe in them. They actually fit fantastic around my body, so I'm really comfortable in these. And they're really soft, by the way. I, I paid not as much money, I think I paid about 80 bucks for them. And they are the best I've ever bought. They're really, really soft. And I'm really sad I didn't buy the full suit, but whatever, that's life. This dress shirt of Calvin Klein, let me actually see how much would pay for it. Um, Calvin Klein, it's about 70 bucks. Is it worth it? I think it's a great looking shirt. It doesn't fit me completely the way I want it. The length is perfect, like there's there's nothing to, to mark there, but it's, so there's a lot of extra fiber and, and cloth that I don't like. Is it a great dress shirt? Yes. Is it worth this price? Absolutely. Will I keep it? Absolutely not, because I already have one of these. Um, not exactly the same, but basically the same, and I don't need like a hundred of these. Um, it's quite soft, it's really comfortable, I must say, like, it's really, really comfortable. And I'm gonna put the blaze around, but I'm gonna unbox this one uh, on camera, because why not? I already have a great blazer, but it does need a change because it's getting way too small. Let me actually see how this one fits. Okay, chill down, chair. Okay, so this one is... I feel like it's massive. Am I the only one that... that I don't know what it is, but it feels massive. And I can tell you it is way too big. It is way, way too big. Look at this. There's basically no like structure to my body. You cannot follow the lines. I don't like how it, I know you shouldn't like button up the, the bottom one, whatever. So as you can see, I don't know, it doesn't follow my line. Like, the length again is, is absolutely fantastic, but it's, it's too big in my opinion. It doesn't fit my body well, it doesn't, close up to my body and and the the fiber it's from it's it's really not pleasing to touch let me put it that way let me actually see how much this one is um there we go it's 60 bucks is it worth 60 bucks absolutely not you can go to h&m i get in my opinion more comfortable better fitting ones even zara zara is like step up from there you can get some absolutely amazing blazers there for just as much money and they're a lot better fitting so is it worth it no let me quickly put this off something i haven't told you guys yet i put in my little message like oh i'm gonna give you you know white sleep uh a white blank uh piece of paper you can do whatever the fuck you want but it's going back to school season. I want to go back to school. I don't know about you, but this doesn't call to me as going back to school. I don't go to school in a blazer. I put in casual, smart, minimalistic. Yeah, I think those are the ones I put in. This is none of the above. Um, it's not casual, smart in my opinion. Definitely, I'm like a 19 year old. Like, what 19 year old goes in a blazer to school? No one. 
So I don't get why it's in here. And then this one, I don't need the chair. Chill the fuck down, okay? And then this one, I, I don't... I don't know. First of all, I don't like the color. There's something about jeans that I just... Jeans jackets that I just don't... I don't get it. I like cool, different colored jeans. I like those. I like bleached jeans jackets. I don't like these... I don't even know how to, to call this. Like, farmer... Farmer jeans, I guess. I guess they kind of look like, hey, I want to work on a farm. I want to work on my car. And I have a pair of jeans. It would have this. This color. I, I don't like it. I don't, don't like it. Okay, you guys, so let me give you the conclusion of this box. I think it's a flop. I don't think this is a great box, and I'll tell you exactly why. First of all, I put in the parameters casual, smart, and minimalistic. Okay, I guess I got casual, smart, kind of, because I got a dress shirt, and I got great dress pants, and a great blazer. The thing is, I put in, I'm going back to school. I don't know what 19 year old goes in a blazer to school. I've never met him. Maybe I should. Maybe I should get new friends that do this. Maybe they're more successful. I don't know. But it's not me. You have to put in pictures of yourself, put in pictures of myself, my daily dress code. Minimalistic. I guess the charcoal pants and the polo shirt was minimalistic. And I, I really dig the fit, but it didn't fit. I didn't like the polo shirt because it was really cheap. And I didn't like the pants because it didn't fit. The only really good thing in this box are these shoes. Absolutely love these shoes. I am gonna keep these shoes. They feel great, they look great, I'm gonna keep them. They're gonna look absolutely amazing in a future video. For the rest, dress shirt. I guess this is a, a, a basic dress shirt. And then, I don't even wanna open this. I'm not even going to open this. Um, because that is like one of those side pockets, absolutely disgusting. And then, let me talk to you about atrocity that this is. What? Why is it in here? What about casual, smart, and minimalistic says, hey, let's put a jeans jacket in here. First of all, it's not even a nice jean jacket. I don't like the color of this. That all aside, it doesn't fit with anything. Why is it in here? I mean, she could have put in, um, she could have put in a camel overcoat. That would have been nice. It's fall, back to school. It's a, it's a classic minimalistic piece. Looks great. She could have put in a black overcoat to go with the minimalistic look. I would have absolutely dig that. I, I would have bought that without a doubt. But this, why? Why is it in there? And I, I don't know. Will I do this again? Probably. Am I happy with this box? Absolutely not. I will only keep the shoes. All the rest is going back ASAP. I like the presentation. Um, I like everything about it except for what's in there. So that's kind of like a big part of it. Um, do I have anything else to say? I guess that's the video. Kind of a bummer to be having this as my first going back video, but um, stay tuned, better videos are coming your way soon, um, I have a lot of new ideas that I'm working out, um, hopefully better than these ones, because damn this was a mistake. By the way, the entire box, if I wanted to pay for the entire box, it's about $600. Is it worth $600? Absolutely not. Not even close. I don't get why it would be $600. You get two outfits, a jacket that doesn't even fit anything, a blazer that... that I don't know why, why there's such an ugly blazer in here. I don't get it. I gave her carte blanche. She could do whatever she wanted. Price range through the roof. She could have given me a $3,000 box. What do I care? It was, that was the experience, that was the idea. But she just kind of didn't pull through, in my opinion. So I'm sorry this is a bummer, but I still hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. 
leave a like. Maybe message me down below what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, what you want to see me do next. Do you like any pieces? Do you think I was wrong on some pieces? I mean, some of you could be like, hey, that jeans jacket... No, I don't think anybody will think that, but who knows. I love you guys, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.